हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जय हिंद वंदे मातरम वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर क्लास रवि सर जी मैथ्स द इजियर एंड बेटर वे टू लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट लर्न एवरीथिंग रिगार्डिंग द प्रोबेबिलिटी चैप्टर द बेसिक थिंग्स वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटेड नाउ स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न वैल्यू एडेड क्वेश्चन हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई दिस कॉन्सेप्ट practically in our day to day life in our entire uh, in our entire system of our life students for that we are presenting here three questions like that way in very first question students you can see that a missing helicopter is reported to have a crashed right a missing helicopter is reported to crashed somewhere in a rectangular region this is a rectangular region right shown in the figure what is the probability that it crashed inside the lake so what will be the probability the helicopter crashed inside the lake once again students so what does this question states this questions means that you will have to find out the probability that the helicopter is going in this way and what will be the probability of uh, that the helicopter crashed in the lake right students uh, here you can see that this entire part like a sample space what is this is your sample space means this is your total events right students because uh, this is likely events anywhere the helicopter can crash but it is mentioned that the helicopter will crashed inside the lake so students all these portion are what your total events and this portion is our what favorable events so as per the definition of probability probability of any event is equal to favorable events divided by total number of events so students what we will have to do over here it's very simple this is a rectangular shape it means you will find out the area of this rectangular region right students this this is a forest like rectangular region so find out the area of rectangular region that's why you can find out the total number of events right and this portion is your favorable events so this is also like a rectangular region so you can find out the prob uh, probability of uh, what uh, the helicopter crashed in the lake so you will find the uh, your favorable event right students so ultimately by the definitions your favorable event divided by total number of events is the probability of any event so first of all students we will calculate the parameter of this rectangular region so we will find out the length of this rectangular region and uh, breadth of this region similarly we will find out the length of the lake and breadth of the lake right and then we can take the uh, ratio of their entire region we to find out the probability of this event okay first of all for rectangular region like that way suppose a b c and d right so here you can write for rectangular region a b c d right students so what is the length is given over here the length is suppose this is l 9 km what the entire region uh, length of entire region is what 9 km and what is the width okay and width suppose this is d this is 4.5 km right students by using this parameter we can find out the area of this entire region is this entire rectangular region similarly for suppose this region is p q r and d right p q r d so for p q r d region this is what your lake understand students so here you can see that 
this is total what 9 kilometer and this area is only 6 kilometers so what about this one pd right so pd will be 9 kilometer minus ap right a p so a p is what 6 kilometer so length of this lake right this is this will be length of the lake you are getting what 3 kilometer similarly students the width of the lake is given what is the width of the length uh, width of the lake 2.5 kilometer and you can write what this is like a b width of uh, lake 2.5 kilometer right students we want to find out the probability that the helicopter will crashed inside the lake what so you will have to take the area of this rectangular part by area of lake okay what you want to find out suppose your event is like e what is your event what is the probability that it crashed inside the lake so helicopter crashed inside lake right helicopter crashed inside the lake so p of probability of this event is equal to area of lake divided by area of rectangular region so area of lake right upon area of rectangular region area of lake this is like a p q r d so you can write what p q r d and area of rectangular region area of region what a b c and d a b c d so students you can see that both the figures are rectangle so area of rectangle l into b so the area for parameter of leg we have considered length is 3 and breadth is 2.5 so l into b and for area of rectangular region a b c d the length is 9 and breadth is width is suppose 4.5 so here you can write l into d so what is the length of the uh, leg 3 and what is the breadth 2.5 right student similarly length of uh, rectangular region 9 and this is 4.5 9 and this is 4.5 so students you can cancel these things like that way this is 3 and what we are getting over here 2.5 and 3 is to be multiplied by 5 3 5 is a 15 and 3 4 is a 12 12 and 1 13 so right so finally what we are getting 25 by 135 so you can simplify more so this can be simply uh, cancel by 5 and this can be cancelled by 5 so what we are getting uh, 2 5 is a 10 and this is uh, 35 7 so you are getting what 5 by 27 5 by 27 understood students what you have to do in this question just simply find out the you will have to find out the area you will have to find out the probability in which the plane has crashed the we know that the plane has crashed in what inside the lake so just find out the area of this rectangular region a b c d and find out the area of lake and take the ratio of these two areas to find out the probability that the helicopter crashed inside the lake understood because this whole area is like that what sample space and this area is your favorable favorable event so as per the definition of probability 
to find out the probability of any event your favorable event by sample space means total number of events now students moving to the next question the next question states that a square of side 5 cm what is a square of side 5 cm drawn in interior of another square so, so this is 5 cm all sides are 5 cm right student this is inside the another square 10 cm and the side of this square is 10 cm right okay so a point is selected at random interior of the square so inside the square you will have to select a point what is the probability that the point will be chosen from sided part so the point will be might be here so from this region you will have to choose a point simple student this is similar question to this one here it was rectangular region here the square region this is lag and this is another square we have found the probability that the helicopter crashed inside the lag but this time we will have to take the point inside this smaller square so what you have to do find out the area of this bigger square and find out the area of this smaller square and take the ratio of both this bigger square like a sample space and the small smaller square the area of a smaller square will be your favorable event so this is your total number of event and this is your favorable event as per the definition of probability we know that probability of any event favorable event divided by total number of outcomes okay so first of all for uh, square a b c d right a b c d what is the length length of side 10 centimeter right student and for p q r s for a square p q r s what is the length of the side the length of the side is 5 centimeter understood so what we want to find out we will have to take a point from sided region right so we want to find out the probability that the point will be chosen from this sided region so write the event so the point will be chosen from sided region sided region so students the probability of this event will be what area of a b c d and take the ratio of area of p q r s and a b c d so area of p q r s this is a square area of a square pqrs and area of a square abcd area of a square abcd so we know that area of a square side a square so what is the side of pqrs you have considered like a, suppose this is capital l and this is small l so l square and here will be capital l square so area of pqr l square there will be phi square and area of abcd its length is 10 centimeter so 10 square so students you can simplify phi into phi and here you can write 10 into 10 so cancelling over here what we are getting 2 and 2 right so probability of this event 1 by 4 right students so you can conclude over here that in in a bigger square there is a smaller square you will have to take the point 
from the smaller square what will be the probability that you have taken the points from the smaller square right so what do you have to do just find out the area of bigger square and find out the area of smaller square this is smaller square will be your favorable event this will be your sample space so as per the definitions of any probability favorable events upon total number of events so your favorable events is, is area surrounded by the smaller square and total number of space and total space means total number of event is from bigger square the area uh, bounded by a b c d so by doing some labor work you can calculate all these things to make it simplify so finally you are getting the point will be chosen from the saddle region is 1 by 4 so the probability of the point will be chosen from the saddle region is 1 by 4 okay students now moving to the next question uh, this is a chance of the, the a game of chance right a game of chance consists of a spinning arrow this is a spinning arrow chosen is equally likely to come rest point 1 to the number 1 2 3 12 so in the figure what is the probability that it will point rest on the 10 an odd number numbers multiple of 3 prime numbers and less than 6 this is very simple this is a, like a game students just this is a sim uh, circular what arrow it will be rotate like that way and once time it will be rest maybe 6 maybe 12 maybe 3 it's all depends on the probability right students in our very first question the first question states that suppose this is event a rest pointing to 10 right what we have to find out arrow arrow rest on 10 right students so how many 10 over here just only one time so your favorable event m is 1 and total number of countings 1 to 12 so n is equal to 12 right so probability of this event p of a can be written as m by n so 1 by 12 so students you can conclude that arrow comes rest on 10 is 1 by 12 okay now moving to the second question odd number right suppose this event is b and odd number right students so you can see that what are odd numbers 1 3 5 7 9 11 so 1 3 5 7 9 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so your favorable event are 6 and total number of events 12 so p of b m by n 6 by 12 so what we are getting 1 by 6 so students you can conclude that arrows comes rest on odd number arrow comes rest on odd number the probability that an arrow comes rest on odd number is 1 by 6 okay now moving to the question number 3 numbers multiple of 3 suppose this is event c numbers multiple of 3 right numbers multiple of 3 so what which numbers are multiple of 3 obviously 3 6 9 and 12 so here you can write 3 6 9 and 12 so these numbers are multiple of 3 so your favorable event m is 4 and total number of countings are 12 so n is 12 so you can write p of c m by n right so 4 by 12 
so your probability is 1 by 3 so students you can conclude that the arrow comes raised numbers multiple of 3 the probability of arrow comes raised on multiple of 3 is 1 by 3 okay now moving to the question number 4 prime numbers this is d prime numbers right students which are prime numbers the number which are not divisible by any other number one and itself right so two five se uh, two two three five seven and eleven are prime numbers so two five two three 5 7 and 11 so 1 2 3 4 5 so your favorable event m is 5 and total number of events 12 so p of d m by n so you can write 5 by 12 so finally students you can conclude that the arrow comes raised probability of arrow comes raised on prime number is 5 by 12 okay now moving to the question number six what does the question number six states the arrow comes raised on less than six arrow comes less than six right so less than six all these numbers from one to five so one two three four five so your favorable event will be five and total number of outcomes 12 so you can write what five by 12 so here the answer will be of this question was the answer of this question will be 5 by 12 right so you can conclude that if the arrow comes raised number less than 6 the probability of this event will be 5 by 12 because 5 4 3 2 1 all these numbers are less than 6 so your favorable events are 1 2 3 4 5 and total number of outcomes are 12 so as per the definition favorable event by total number of events so m by n so m is 5 and n is 12 so you can conclude the arrow comes rest on less than 6 is 5 by 12 okay students here we are completing completing today's video lesson i hope you have understood this video lesson which are uh, on value added questions for more video lesson of this topic, keep watching your channel Ravi Sarji Mas. Thank you, thank you so much.